A few years ago, I surveyed more than 3,000 managers and I asked them just one question. What is the most important skill you must have to build trusting relationships with your clients and successfully lead your teams? You know what the overwhelming answer was by a three to one count? It wasn't in any of these books, but it is the most powerful skill in business and in life. Welcome to Build Smart Connections. number one skill managers must possess to successfully lead teams and build trusting relationships with clients. It's listening. And the reason it's so powerful is because it's transcendent. And by that I mean, to be a great leader, of course you have to be a great listener. But to be a great salesperson, to be a great entry level employee, team member, coach, teacher, to be a great parent, you have to be a great listener. You know what the irony is? When we coach people in the workplace, the biggest complaint about ineffective leadership starting at the very top is poor listening. So let's get into how we become a fully engaged listener and how we can better connect with others and talk about the benefits that come with it. One thing to keep in mind is listening is difficult and it could be exhausting because it takes time, energy, focus, patience, and most importantly, it takes selflessness. We all slip up when it comes to listening. In fact, I have something I call the four sins of listening. Number one, the interrupter, the mother of all rudeness, right? This is the person who, when right in the middle of what you're talking about, will bulldoze right over you because clearly what they have to say is prodigiously more important than what you're rambling about. Number two, the rehearser, the person who rehearses what they want to say next while you're talking. And of course, we do that as well, right? We rehearse. Number three, rightfully accused, the sentence finisher. I'm a communicator, right? You say something, you pause, you're looking for that word, and I zip in, and I come up with the right word, and sometimes my ego has gotten stroked with a high five. Other people look at me as if to say, Joe, I didn't start that sentence with the intention for you to finish it. And finally, number four, the friendly faker, right? What do we do when we space out, the person's talking, and we don't know how to respond, we go, yeah, good for you, man, that's great, that's great. We all get caught up in making mistakes when it comes to listening. Let's talk about how we can get better. Here are five tools that will build trust and expand opportunities in every relationship you have. Number one, ask open-ended questions. And this simply means ask the question that gets others to elaborate. Let them hear themselves talk. Number two, Show attentive nonverbal communication. People always know if you're engaged or not. Number three, practice silence. Let others talk. This is not always easy, but remember, silence is a form of respect and empowerment. Interrupting is a relationship killer. Number four, paraphrase. This is simply repeating a summary back to the other person what you thought you heard. It shows respect. It proves to people that you listen to them and will clarify any potential misunderstanding. And most importantly, number five, be honest. Ask the person to go back and repeat what they said. And if you feel more comfortable, simply say, I apologize, can you go back and say that one more time? The two greatest listeners I've ever met are my mom and my dad. And I know that because at 53 years old, I live in their basement. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> The truth is, they taught me many years ago that to connect with other people, to show appreciation, to earn the right to be heard, to engage in winning relationships and create opportunities, you have to listen to people. And maybe the best way to sum this up is one of my favorite quotes. The greatest gift you can give another is the purity of your attention. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you found this helpful. If you'd like to see more videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel over there. If you'd like to learn more about who I am and what I do, you can always visit joetakish.com. And of course, we love feedback. If you have any suggestions on how these could be better, or if you have any topics you'd like me to speak on, please leave your feedback below. Live it, love it, do it, profit. <laughs>